you want to start a YouTube channel in 2020, but you're out there thinking, how much money does it actually cost to start a YouTube channel? The answer is none. You can get started right now with the current smartphone you own. But if you want your shots to be a little bit more professional, let's spend a little bit of money and get a tripod for our smartphone. That's more like it. Now let's focus a little bit on our audio quality because I think it's the most important part of a YouTube video. Because people will click off a video in about three seconds if the audio is bad. We can achieve this by spending only $40 and getting a cheap lav mic from Amazon. You hear that? That sounds like difference to me. Finally, let's spend another $60 and get some lighting for our shots. And look at that. I bet you didn't think that the shot would be possible on a smartphone, but it is. If you want to see in detail how I set everything up, then let's talk. Before we get to the video, I would honestly really appreciate if you guys clicked subscribe. If you want to be one of the few people that get to say, hey, I knew this guy when he only had 10 subscribers, then it's time to do it right now. But one thing I want to know from you guys is that if you do want to get started on YouTube and you want to start your own YouTube channel, what's the one thing that's stopping you from doing it? Leave it down below and maybe we can have a discussion about it. But without further ado, let me give you guys a tour. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you guys a tour of the studio that I have. Uh, and I have, I've achieved all of this equipment with only $140 Canadian. Uh, so if you want to get started on YouTube and you're, you live in the US, you're going to spend even less money. And I want to do this in kind of a vlog style so that you guys have a better idea of how I set up the room and where each equipment sits. So let's get started. This, I'll do a pan of the office here. So this is kind of where I record my videos. So let's get started with the microphone that I use. So this right here is the power device. Uh, I got this on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description of everything that I talk about today. So it comes with this little bag, which is useful. It also has this extension cord, which I never ever used and the microphone itself. It's a clip on microphone. So you just clip this onto your uh, t-shirt and I have to use this uh, because I use an iPhone. So sadly I need a little dongle. But this microphone honestly works really great. You guys can have a, have a listen in my previous videos if you want to see how, how they sound. Uh, but for sure, it definitely worth the $39 I spent on it. Moving on to the uh, stand here. This is again $39.99 on Amazon. Uh, you clip your mic, uh, your cell phone here. It's universal. So any kind of size will fit and it does extend up and down. So you can actually get a lot of uh, different sizes. The thing I have here in the bottom is just a, a lid for this leather chair that I had. I put it like that so that I have, so I know exactly which spot I left the stand in so that I can, you know, capture the same frame. And finally, uh, I do have this light. This is the most expensive one out of all this, all the stuff that I talked about. This one is $61.99 on Amazon, uh, but it's definitely worth the investment. It has a lot of adjustability, so it goes up and down. And you, this, uh, the top portion also, you know, tilts down and tilts up, but that's pretty much it for my setup. It's very simply laid out. I have my phone stand there. I move the light around. Usually I either have it there or have it in this corner or I have it a little bit closer to me. Um, and then I got my, as you guys know, I have my iPad pro here with the magic keyboard and the magic trackpad, but very, very simple guys. You honestly don't, you don't need a lot of money to get started on YouTube. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you guys are still kind of overwhelmed with how much equipment that you do need to get started, like I said in the very beginning of the video, you don't need to buy any of these. If you have a smartphone, then you're able to get started on YouTube. Just put your content out there and see if it gets any traction. If you're able to accumulate a good amount of subscribers, then you can look into upgrading your equipment. If you can only buy one thing from this video, then I would definitely recommend getting a microphone. Like I said, audio quality is the most important and without good audio, you won't get any viewers. If someone clicks on your video and they hear a really buzzy or a lot of background noise or very low uh, quality microphone, then they're, they're not going to want to enjoy your content. Don't worry too much about, you know, things like how am I going to edit my videos? How am I going to make thumbnails? Because those things just come with time. As you start making videos, you're going to start learning about them. Honestly, it's not very difficult, guys. Uh, Windows has a video editor built in and MacBooks and Apple products do have a iMovie built in so you can get started with those. Uh, they're very, very simple to use. It doesn't matter if you have an Android or an iPhone, you can get an app called Filmic Pro and Filmic Pro actually allows you to, you know, adjust your 
you know, exposure, focus, zoom, white balance, uh, all of that good stuff. So you can definitely achieve a really professional looking video just from your smartphone. Um, it's not a free app, but if you guys want to see a video on, on Filmic Pro, then definitely let me know in the comments and I can make a video on that separately. Also, don't worry too much about making thumbnails. There's a lot of websites out there that help you make thumbnails. Uh, it's very, very simple to use. The thumbnails that you see on my channel are all made with Keynote. <laughs> if you don't know what Keynote is, it's the PowerPoint equivalent uh, on Apple's side. So it's Apple's PowerPoint counterpart. So I know that's funny to hear, but if you want to see a video on that, I can definitely make a video on that uh, and show you guys how I make my thumbnails with Keynote. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.